Wow, ang laki niya na. <laughs> Kita niyo ba yung nasa likod ko, guys? Para hotel. Si Bon Sojourn has finally docked at the Port of Manila last March 18, 2024. And of course, thanks to our friends for giving us the opportunity to roam around inside and to see what this luxury cruise ship can offer. Time check, it's 11.30 in the morning. We arrive here in our meetup point in Robinsons, Manila. So first, we are checking our names on the list. Every crew members are allowed to have four guests to visit them inside the cruise ship. It's really a privilege for us to get invited for an ocular visit. Here, we filled up some waivers and forms to get our wristbands. Yes, so finally after an hour, we are now heading out. So they provide a bus to transfer us from Robinson's Manila to Cruise Terminal. Yeah, and so almost 15 minutes ride long. And we arrive here in Eva Makatagal Cruise Terminal. So we'll wait here for our turn until other guests are done with their visit. I would say that this cruise terminal is really well organized with centralized aircon. After a long process of filling up waivers and forms and getting our visitor pass, we are definitely getting closer to the Seabone cruise ship. Well, just a little fact. Do you know that Seabone gives this exclusive privilege to their Filipino crew members? As 80% of their workers are from the Philippines. Wow, one, two, three. Uh, Espanol? Habla Espanol? Hey guys! So, meron tayong tour dito sa Seaborn. And we have one to two hours allotted time to roam around this ship. Wow, the leader! Who is the leader? Who is the leader? Main dining room. Wow. Dining room. Main dining room. Main dining room. So here is their lounge or club area where our musician friends entertain their guests every night. Ah, dito sila And the theater place with a grand piano. This is their outdoor jacuzzi, where foreigners would enjoy, especially when they're in a warm weather like this. And of course, with an overlooking view of the Manila Bay, where the ship is docked for two days. O oh, diba, hamak talagang talo ang Sofitel sa spiral stairs. Ayan, sa Pier 15 tayo nakadock. So makikita yung daming mga cargo and buses dyan. And here is their other whirlpool on deck. Medyo hindi na natin mabilang kung ilang swimming pool pa meron dito. And here's a sky bar near the pool. Oh, diba? Siyempre, hindi mga walang picture-taking. Pinoy tayo, kaya dapat documented. And another patio bar beside the pool. Puro dining area. Wala namang handang pagkain. <laughs> Charot. Dito ata pag buffet. Oh, oh, hindi ko rin alam doon umakit tayo. Hinangan namin napansin na nasa 8th floor na pala kami and going to 10th. Medyo mabilis talaga yung mga pangyayari dito. Meron tayong room 2. 
And on this deck, they have a coffee bar, library with setup computers, Xerox machine, and it wouldn't be a library without books. They also have a boutique shop where they sell some apparels and jewelries where both men and women would enjoy. Well, unfortunately, due to lack of time, we didn't able to see other amenities that they offer places like salon, fitness area, and casino. Well, if you really want to explore and experience Seaborn for yourself, then you should definitely check in in their cruise ship. Two hours isn't really enough for an ocular visit, but overall, it was a nice experience. Okay guys, so kung ano man yung orange na yan, just comment down below if you know what it is. And for our last destination, so we'll just grab some breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess it's already 3 in the afternoon. So tara, pagsabay-sabay na natin to. <laughs> Yay, the most awaited part, it's eating time. Okay guys, so we'll just indulge ourselves with these Filipino food. I hope you enjoyed our short cruise ship tour. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe button. Take care and see you soon.